Let's play. History Einstein! Who will be history's next genius? Welcome to the History Einstein game, where contestants compete to see who can be history's next genius. I'm your host, I. N. Stein. Today, you will see several kitchen gadgets from long ago. You will hear two different descriptions. Will the correct answer be A or B? Hold up your card to show your answer. Listen carefully. Use your noggin and have fun. Let's go to Pioneer Sarah to see our first object. Your first item today is this item. Is this A cheese? People would have had to make their own cheese long ago. They would have made their cheese and let it sit out in a special cheese box so it could age and develop its flavors. Your first choice for this object is A, cheese. Or is it soap? Your second choice, B, is soap. This item is soap. People would have had to make their own soap long ago and usually made lye soap. This is a piece of lye soap. So, is this item A, cheese, or is this item B, soap? The correct answer is B, lye soap. If you guessed B correctly, mark B on your score sheet. This is a piece of lye soap. To make lye soap, you use your ashes from a fireplace and you run water through them, which removes the lye from the ashes. That's mixed with water and a few other ingredients. And when it hardens, you can cut it up into chunks and it would be the soap that the pioneers would use when they were taking a bath or washing their hands or even washing their clothes. Your next object is this item. Is this A, a butter press? Pioneers would have made their own butter and after their butter was all made, they would have put it on a plate or a butter dish and used a butter press just like this. They would have pressed it into the top of the butter and it would have made a design onto their butter to make their butter look nice. Or is this choice B? This is a cookie press. After the pioneers would have made cookie dough, like sugar cookies, they would have rolled the dough into a ball and used this press to press a design onto their cookies. So is this A, a butter press, or B, a cookie press? A is the right answer. This is a butter press. Mark A on your score sheet. This is a butter press. Pioneers would have made their own butter. And because they wanted to make their butter look nice and presentable, a lot of times they would have put a design on the top. They could have used a press just like this. After their butter was made and on the butter dish, they could have put it inside and pressed on the top to make a nice design in the top of their butter. Okay, our next object for our game is this. Was this S-hook used for A, hanging hats and bonnets? The pioneers, by their door, would have had an S-hook just like this that they would have hung onto the wall, and then when they came in from outside, they could have hung their bonnets, or the men could have hung their hats right on this hook. Or is this B? This would have been used on the fireplace. This would have hung on to the um, swing arm that was in the fireplace, and then they could have hung their pots onto this S-hook over the fire for when they were cooking. Is this A for hanging hats and bonnets, or B 
for hanging pots over the fire. If you guessed B for hanging pots over the fire, you got it. Great job. This is definitely for hanging pots over the fire. Behind me is our fireplace, and this S-hook would have come right onto the swing arm. Pots would have hung onto the other end of the hook, and then they could be moved into the fire for high heat or out of the fire for low heat. Here's our next object. What was this used for? Is this A to use to cool off sweaty people? You know, the pioneers did not have electricity. So when it was hot in the summertime, they could not turn on their air conditioner and they could not turn on a fan. Instead, they would use this. When you move the handles back and forth, it blows air. So the pioneers could blow air on each other, especially when they were cooking in their hot kitchen. This would help keep them cool. Or is this B? This was used in the fireplace to help get the fire started. A pioneer would cook in a fireplace very similar to what we have here. Sometimes it was hard to get a fire going, so this object would help get the fire started, that way the logs would catch on fire. Is this A, used to cool off sweaty people, especially in the kitchen, or B, used to help get a fire started? This is a bellows. B is the correct answer. Yes, this is a bellows. This was used in the fireplace. It would blow a little bit of air onto the embers or near the logs where the fire had been started, and it would give the fire the oxygen or the air that it needed to help the logs catch on fire. Up next is this item. This item is made from tin. What was this used for? A, a candle mold. This item is a candle mold. Remember, the pioneers didn't have electricity, so they would use candles for light. And this was how they would make their candles. Or is this B? This is a popsicle mold. Pioneers were so warm in the summertime because remember, they did not have electricity, but they were able to make popsicles. So they would put their popsicle liquid inside of a mold just like this, and then they could eat popsicles in the summertime to help them stay cool. Is this A, a candle mold, or B, a popsicle? This item is a candle mold. A was the right answer. This is a candle mold. A cotton wick could be put into this mold and come out the bottom, and then wax would have been poured in the top. And when they hardened, you would have taken them out of the candle mold and you would have had candles. Here is our next object. What was this used for in the kitchen? Was this A, a stain remover. You know, the pioneers did not have a fancy washing machine like we have today, and they did not have spray to spray onto stains. So instead, they would use something like this. They would put their stained clothing, maybe their apron, inside of here, add a lot of extra soap and some water, and then they would use this paddle to stir it and smash it around the water. That would help loosen the stains. Then they could use their washboard and finish washing. Or is this B? This is a butter churn. The pioneers would have had to make their own butter. They did that with a churn just like this. 
This would have been the dasher that would have gone inside and that would agitate that cream in order to make their cream into butter. Was this A, used for removing stains, or B, used for making butter? B was the correct answer for this item. This is a butter churn. This is a butter churn. The pioneers definitely would have had to make their own butter, and they could have used a large wooden churn just like this. You will learn more about how to make butter later in this unit. Here is our next object. Was this A used for reaching things way up high? The pioneers would have grown their own herbs and they would have trimmed them off of the plants and hung them up to dry in their cabins. Then they would have been able to use them all throughout the year. This was used to help reach those bundles of herbs hanging high up on the walls or even from the ceilings. Behind me you can see I have some dried herbs hanging and this would have been used to help get those down off of the nail. I can't reach those, so this is definitely used for that. Or is this B? This is a fireplace poker. This was made out of iron, probably from the local blacksmith, and was used in the fireplace to move the hot logs around. Is this A used for reaching herbs way up high on the walls and the ceilings? Or B, is this a fireplace poker? This item is a fireplace poker. B is the correct choice. This is a fireplace poker. When you were cooking or heating your home, you would use a fireplace in a cabin like this. Sometimes the logs would fall or shift or move while they were burning. So all cabins would have fireplace tools made out of iron that would help them with the fireplace. This one could simply be used for just moving around the logs. You don't want to touch burning logs with your bare hands, so you definitely needed a tool for that. What is this object? Was this object A, a dough bowl? A lot of women made their own bread. Some made their bread once a week, or some made their bread more often, depending on how much their family ate their bread. So they would have had a nice, deep, large bowl made out of wood for mixing their bread dough in. Or is this choice B? This was a scraps bowl. The women would have a nice big bowl like this on their table for when they were cooking meals. As they were cooking, anything that would have been scraps that they would have not needed for the meal, they would have put into a big bowl like this. Then, after they were finished cooking, they could have taken the whole bowl of scraps out to their animals and fed the animals the scraps from the food. Is this A, a bread bowl for mixing bread dough, or B, a scraps bowl? The correct answer was guess A, the bread bowl. This was A. This is a bread bowl. The pioneers would have had a large wooden bowl used for mixing up bread dough, just kind of like the one that you see here. What was this object used for? Was this A to put up candles? The pioneers would have had a lot of candles that they would have used for light in their home. Some candles would hang high on the wall. For the candles that were hung high on the wall, the pioneers would use something like this to put over the top of the candle that was burning to put the candle out. This was easy to use for candles that were high that the pioneers couldn't just blow out. Or is this B? This is a tasting spoon. 
when the pioneers were cooking in the kitchen, they would have had a tasting spoon just like this. It has a little hook on it for it to hang, and they could dip it into their soup or their stew or their sauce that they were making, taste it, and see if it needed any more seasonings before putting it on the table. Is this A for putting out candles, or B for tasting what they were cooking? This item was used to put out candles. Guess A. This was used for putting out candles. This would go right over the top of a candle to put the candle out when it was time to blow out the candle for the day. This was perfect for candles that were out of reach. Here's our next object. What was this used for? This is very heavy. It's made out of iron. Was it A for ironing? The women would use big heavy irons like this to iron clothes, get all the wrinkles out. Or was this B? This was a meat mallet. The women would use this heavy meat mallet in the kitchen to flatten out pieces of meat. Sometimes, if the meat was thicker on one end than it was on the other end, they could use this to flatten it down and make the meat all the same thickness so it would cook all at the same time. Was this A for ironing clothes or B a meat mallet used to flatten out meat? The last item in today's game is an iron. Choice A. This is an iron for ironing clothes. Most pioneer women would have had two or three of these irons. On ironing day, they would put this whole iron near the fireplace so the iron got very hot. You'd often use a cloth to hold on to the handle of your iron because the whole thing got hot when it was put near the fireplace. You'd start ironing your clothes with an iron like this, just like we do today. And as soon as your iron cooled off, you'd put it back by the fireplace, but you'd grab that other iron that was already hot and warming up, so you would never have to stop ironing. You could just keep ironing until all of it was finished. Great guesses, history detectives. Now it's time to tally up your score and see who our next history geniuses will be. Thanks for playing History Einstein, and remember, we must take the bridge to the past in order to create our path for the future. <laughs>